Welcome to PXP channel. If you like the videos then please do not forget to hit the like as well as the subscribe button because that will motivate me to make many such videos. Also your valuable comment will help me improve the content. So please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. In the last couple of videos we had discussed basics of Flutter and prior to that we had built the Spring Boot backend completely. If you have not watched those tutorials then I would recommend you to go through them first and then watch this tutorial. In this tutorial we will build the Flutter UI for our employee management application. We will create a very basic application. Let's uh, register some of the employees. The first one will be let's say Christy and then last name uh, let's say Blair and employee saved successfully. Uh, next employee will be Emily Brett and let's say done um, click on submit and also employees added successfully and then let's add Carol Carla Simon employee added successfully and John Doe and employee added successfully let's go ahead and get all the employees as you can see all the employees are fast and if I click on any of the employees I can see two buttons one is for delete and one is for update I can update uh, John Doe to John Snow and if I hit on uh, get all employees then I can see that uh, John Doe is updated and I can also delete uh, an employee until an employee is deleted let's create the project uh, fresh project flutter uh, create employee management and hit enter Yeah, the project is created and the boilerplate uh, code is ready. Um, let's uh, cd into uh, that folder where uh, the project is created and then try to run the project. Okay. Um, let's config uh, the project to enable the web um, so that we can run the project in Chrome and now if I run the project in the task mode flutter run the um, dash d chrome then the project is running let's go to the main.dat class or main.dat file and delete everything let's start with importing the uh, material.dat package and then the first method will be a main method so uh, void main within that we will have run app function and uh, within that we will uh, run the my app uh, class that will be our uh, root class so let's create that here and uh, my app will extend stateless widget And then let's override the build uh, method. And build method will uh, return uh, a material app. And the title of that will be employee management. And we are uh, disabling uh, the debug banner. And let's add the default theme. The color will be blue. And in the home, we will uh, generate another uh, class that is called employee drawer. We will uh, create that in a separate package. Let's create that package and name it as screen. And within that, we will create the employee drawer uh, class. As usual, we'll start with uh, importing the material uh, dot dat, and this class name will be employee drawer. And this will uh, extend the stateful widget. Let's override the method. And we are overriding the state method which will return uh, a employee drawer state and 
okay uh, this uh, method contains a build sorry this class contains a build method and uh, this build method is going to return a scaffold within scaffold we will create a app bar and the title of the app bar will be uh, employee management within body uh, we will create a uh, center widget within that uh, we will create another child widget and uh, then within that we will pass some text uh, let's say welcome to pxp channel will be the text that will be displayed in the center of the page and uh, within drawer we will have two buttons and we will uh, add some padding okay so let us define a final variable um, and assign some minimum padding so that we will use that in um, all the places instead of writing it repeatedly we will use that uh, variable in all the places and let's create um, children of the widget Within children, we are creating a head, uh, drawer header, uh, and the uh, text will be employee management. We are passing that in the text widget, and we are uh, trying to decorate it uh, with color blue. Um, even though, I mean that that is the default uh, color, but uh, we are just adding that. first uh, button will be register employee and we are adding that uh, in the drawer and the next one will be get all employees and let's add on tap uh, method here meaning uh, once that is clicked uh, this method will be trigger called Let's see if our uh, application is running so far. Yeah, it is running and we have uh, the drawer. So, so far so good. If you are uh, coding along, then you can do so. I will uh, push the code into GitHub and share the link in case you want to clone the project in your local. Thank you for watching and please hit the like and subscribe button because that will motivate me to make many such videos in future. If you have any queries, then you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.